Hey there, come on in. Are you ready to have some fun today? Join us, let's jump in. One, two, three, let's go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We'll learn a lot today. We'll sing, learn, have lots of fun. There's something special for everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We'll learn a lot today. We'll sing, learn, have lots of fun. There's something special for everyone. We'll learn a lot today. Let's go! Hi, my friends. Welcome to Mr. Pete's Playhouse. It's me, Mr. Pete. Today, we are going to learn all about Kwanzaa. Are you ready? Great, then let's go. Kwanzaa is a Swahili word, which means first fruits of the harvest. It is celebrated from December 26th through January 1st of each year. Kwanzaa was started in 1966 so that African-American people can learn about and celebrate their African heritage and culture. There are seven principles, one for each day of the celebration. They include developing and improving your community, working together as a family, and helping to make the world a better place to live in together. The candles are red, black, and green. The black candle stands for unity. The green candles represent the future, and the red candles represents the struggle out of slavery. Let's read a book about celebrating Kwanzaa as a family. Gather round, my friends, it's story time. My Family Celebrates Kwanzaa, written by Lisa Bullard, illustrated by Constanza Basaluza. Hi, I'm Kevin. We're getting ready for Kwanzaa. That's a special holiday for my family. It celebrates our African American heritage. My mom puts a mat on a table. I add the candle holder and candles. Mom add fruits and vegetables. Next comes the unity cup. We put out presents too. Now we are ready for Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa lasts for seven days. We light another candle each night. My grandpa goes first. Tonight, he lights the black candle. Then, Grandpa explains the Kwanzaa word for the first day. Every day has a special word in Swahili. That's an African language. Grandpa's word means unity. That means sticking together as a group. Sticking together is why Kwanzaa began. A man named Dr. Maulana Karenga created Kwanzaa in 1966. He wanted to bring African Americans together. Somebody new lights the candles each night. I watch closely so I'm ready for my turn. Mom lights the candles on the third night. We talk about helping one another solve problems. My brother lights the candles on the fifth night. We talk about setting goals to help our community. My goal is to be a teacher. The sixth night of Kwanzaa is my favorite. We go to a big party every year. It's the last day of Kwanzaa. I finally get to light the candles. Grandpa says my special word means faith. He says I should believe in our people every day. That will be like living Kwanzaa all year round. The end. My family celebrates Kwanzaa. That's the story time. Celebrate Kwanzaa. This is a special time of year to honor our African heritage. Let's all celebrate Kwanzaa. First day of Kwanzaa is Umoja. Umoja means unity. Umoja, unity in our family and community. The second day of Kwanzaa is Kujichagulia. It means self-determination.
Uh, my friends, that is it for us today. Today we learned all about what is Kwanzaa and why it is important for us to celebrate it. We read the book My Family Celebrates Kwanzaa and sung the song Celebrate Kwanzaa with Miss Brittany Michelle. <laughs> Kwanzaa is such an important and special celebration that reminds African American people of who they are and what they must do in order to move forward together. It is celebrated with great food and music and families coming together and working together to help their communities improve and grow. It is very important for all of us to learn about and celebrate each other's culture so that we can be supportive of one another no matter what we look like or where we come from. Are you ready to sing our goodbye song? You are? Great! Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye friends, we had so much fun today, clap your hands friends, if you can't wait to join us again, see you soon friends, I'll leave you with a smile, say farewell my friends, we'll see you again next time, we'll see you again next time. Remember to always find music in the noise to love yourself and I love you. I'll see you next time on Mr. Pete's Playhouse. Bye! Hi my friends, there's so many ways for you to keep up with me. You can find me on Amazon and Roku apps and also follow me on my social media pages like Facebook and Instagram. And now you can stream my songs on Apple Music and Spotify and invite me to have fun with you at your birthday parties. Don't forget to get your Mr. Pete's merch at mppmerch.com. See you soon.